Speaker, the Secretary of State will know that while city deals were talked of for a long time, it was 2017 in the Democratic Unionist Party that got a commitment from government that would not impact us, but be of benefit to everyone in Northern Ireland, creating the opportunities for growth in cities and regions throughout Northern Ireland in a phased and a programmed and a sensible strategic way. The decision that was made to pause both Causeway Coast and Glens in the Mid-South-West region were unnecessary, and the Secretary of State, I think, accepts that, when there was not a position in place to agree the financial requirements necessary. There was no need to pause them because of lack of finance. But what he has done, and I think he acknowledges, is that this decision places in jeopardy the match funding from private investors, that puts in jeopardy the ability to proceed with the Food and Drug uh, Development Centre in Coleraine or the Enniskill and Bypass and a myriad of other important and strategically significant proposals. So injecting confidence at this time as we wait until the 30th of, of October would be to suggest that A, this Government recognises the important value of city deals, B, is determined to deliver on the aspirations that will be key significant regional economic drivers in Northern Ireland, and three, recognise, as I think he does, that to pause these proposals was foolish. Well, um, I don't agree with his last uh, proposition because, uh, as I've already indicated to the House, given the fiscal inheritance, well, given the fiscal inheritance, for the government to say we need to look at a, a, a range of things in the round is the prudent thing to do. I recognise entirely that it's unwelcome to many, many people. And the best thing I think we can do is to give certainty as quickly as possible, which would assist. But I understand entirely, and I will learn more about that when I meet the chief executives of the deals, the practical difficulties it creates in the meantime. But on our shared desire to maximise economic growth in Northern Ireland, the House is united. And this week we've had a really good example of that with the announcement of the very significant order that's gone to right bus, which is, you know, this is a company that nearly went bust and then investment came in. It is now helping to deliver the bus transportation of the future from the factory that I've had the chance and many other members will have had the chance to visit. And there's a lot of good things happening in Northern Ireland. We need to build on them. <laughs>